वेलकम टू सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम लेक्चर सीरीज हियर इन दिस सेशन आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन यूजिंग इनवर्स लाप्लास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस वी हैव दिस क्वेश्चन वेर द रिलेशनशिप इन बिटवीन इनपुट एक्स ऑफ टी एंड आउटपुट वाई ऑफ टी ऑफ अ कॉजल सिस्टम इज गिवन एज डी स्क्वेर वाई टी बाय डी टी स्क्वेर प्लस डी वाई टी बाय डी टी माइनस ट्वेंटी वाई टी इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू एक्स ऑफ टी प्लस फाइव डी एक्स टी बाय डी टी एंड क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द सिस्टम नाउ बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सम बेजिक्स लाइक सी इफ यू हैव एनी लीनियर टाइम इन वेरियंट सिस्टम एंड इफ यू हैव इनपुट एक्स ऑफ टी एंड इफ यू हैव आउटपुट वाई ऑफ टी एंड इम्पल्स रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ दिस सिस्टम इज एच ऑफ टी and in laplace domain if i say transform of x of t that is x of s transform of y of t that is y of s then transfer function that is h of s for this linear time invariant system so here first of all we need to understand what is this transfer function so see transfer function h of s that is transform of output y of s divided by transform of input x of s so that is how we can have transfer function of this system and to get impulse response and to get impulse response all we need to do is we need to take inverse laplace transform of h of s so if you take inverse laplace transform of h of s you will be getting impulse response so here we have differential equation and first of all we need to have this differential equation Uh, for this transfer function calculation and once you have transfer function by taking inverse laplace transform of that transfer function we can have impulse response of this given system so this is what we need to do over here for impulse response calculation so let us calculate this step by step so see we have differential equation over here now if i take laplace transform of this differential equation then we will be getting d square yt by dt square so here a two time differentiation is there so laplace transform of this has to be s square into y of s plus dy by dt is there so laplace transform of this equation that will be one time differentiation means s into y of s minus 20 and yt so that is y of s and that is equals to Minus two x t, so minus two into x of s plus phi into one time differentiation means phi into s into x of s. Now, by using this equation, we will be calculating this transfer function. So, if you take y of s common here, we'll be getting this is s square plus s. Minus twenty is equals to if you take x of s common here, then this is phi s minus two. So here, as I have told, transfer function is output transform by input transform. So h of s that is y of s divided by x of s, and now that will be phi s. Minus two divided by s square plus s minus twenty. So now we have h of s, and if I take inverse Laplace transform of this, I'll be getting impulse response h of t. But here you can observe this equation is not in standard form, so we need to simplify this equation first. And after simplification of this equation, we can be able to perform inverse Laplace transform on this, and then we can have impulse response so let us try to simplify this equation so see phi s minus 2 divided by first i need to see whether partial fraction is possible or not so see here minus 20 is there so minus 20 is what actually plus phi minus 4 means 20 is phi into 4 so if i perform plus phi minus 4 then i can have fraction of this equation so S square plus five s minus four s minus twenty 
then we can have phi s minus 2 divided by if I take s common this has to be s plus phi if I take minus 4 common then this will be s plus phi so this fraction is phi s minus 2 divided by s plus phi s minus 4 now if I apply partial fraction expansion here if I apply partial fraction expansion here then this equation could be easily solved so if I consider phi s minus 2 divided by s plus phi s minus 4 is equals to a divided by s plus phi plus b divided by s minus 4 so if I take LCM of this then I will be having phi s minus 2 is equals to a into s minus 4 plus b into s plus phi now now to have a value of a and b I need to consider value of s so if I consider s is equals to minus phi this term will be 0 and I can have value of a so if s is equals to minus phi then see minus phi into phi that is minus 25 minus 2 is equals to a into s is minus phi minus 4 and this term is 0 so this is what minus 27 and this is minus 9 so a is equals to minus 27 by minus 9 that is 3 so here we have a that is 3 and to have value of b to have value of b we can say if s is equals to plus 4 if s is equals to plus 4 then this term will be 0 and we can have value of b so 4 into 520 minus 2 is equals to this term is 0 and this is b into 4 plus 5 so this is 20 minus 2 18 divided by 9 so 18 by 9 is 2 so we can say value of b that is 2 so now we have done this partial fraction expansion so we have h of s now and this h of s is a that is 3 divided by s plus 5 and b that is 2 divided by s minus 4 so now we have this equation in standard form and now by applying inverse Laplace transform we can have impulse response so what I'll be doing is I'll be calculating that over here so h of t that is inverse Laplace transform of h of s and h of s that is 3 divided by s plus phi plus inverse Laplace transform I am applying linearity property so 2 divided by s minus 4 now see here we have standard equation for this calculation like see e to the power minus a t u of t that is having Laplace transform that is 1 by s plus a so if you apply that over here you will be having 3 into over here a is phi so this will this inverse Laplace transform that is e to the power minus phi t u of t plus 2 into over here a is equals to minus 4 so e to the power minus a means minus minus plus 4 t into u of t so this is my in impulse response for this given system so ultimately whenever you solve this type of question first of all we need to see what is the differential equation and from that we need to identify transfer function that is y of s by x of s and then by taking inverse Laplace transform of that transfer function we can have impulse response so this is what we need to take care of when we solve this example so here see partial fraction expansion is been done to resolve that 
given function and then we have applied inverse Laplace transform over here and then at the end we can have impulse response of that given question. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.